and there we have them guys ready beautiful starched um, centerpieces doilies so whatever you want to call them and today I want to talk about starch starching your um, some of your items and uh, I'm gonna use this today specifically for these dollies and and uh, centerpieces crochet uh, so um, let's give this a try if I like the way they come out you're gonna see the video okay so uh, stay tuned for that and as well the starch is used for uh, your shirts your your jeans and um, so I'm gonna follow the, the directions on on this um, on this container and I'm gonna use the option of um, of heavy which uh, means I'm gonna mix half and half half water and half uh, starch so let's do this um, here I have an empty tub I'm going to put everything inside after it's all mixed uh, so I, I'm gonna start with 24 ounces water um, and I'm gonna pour 24 ounces of the of the liquid starch and then I'm gonna put everything inside I have these dry ones and I have some soaking wet in there I'm gonna just mix them all together in the solution okay so let's pour the starch I already mixed it really well uh, let's pour up to 48 inches because 24 and 24 is 48. Okay. Um, I have a little bit more than 48, but that's okay. I have a little bit more starch. Uh, and that's because uh, some of these, some of these are already soaking wet and that's gonna take from the strength of the starch so uh, I'm just gonna pour everything in a tub in here just in case uh, everything is too big and they might not fit in this tiny container plus I want to put a lid on and just let them there for a while and I, I'm putting everything in this wider tub so I have enough room to stir them and all right so let's stir that up a little now I'm gonna take the wet completely wet dollies and then I'm taking these previously washed other uh, ones I'm gonna put them in there and mix them together there is a red thread, we don't want that in there. And I'm gonna experiment on these beauties I just did yesterday and I want to see if I starch them, how they're gonna be. Let's put everything in there together. Let's just give it a good thorough mix. Stop in really quick. All right, we're just gonna put a tab on. And let them cook for a while. <laughs> And then I'm gonna come back and just shake them up, you know, a little bit once in a while. All right. Oh gosh, looks like half butter is already gone. All right, I'll come back later. Welcome back, everybody. Look what we have here. We so um, so I left this in a bucket for for the whole day yesterday and now to the second day I'm about to take them out and hang them okay so I hang them up there um, I'm gonna let them almost dry before they dry I'm gonna iron them while they still damp and uh, let's see what we get so here we are the day after um, <clears throat> so they completely dried even though I wasn't planning <clears throat> To um, iron them completely dry but that's okay because I already have another plan uh, so the water I have soaked them in with half and half I'm just gonna put it in a spray bottle and uh, wet them again on the iron board um, I let them dry completely 
that wasn't my intention but I was too busy so um, they're completely dried what I'm gonna do I'm gonna respray them um, I use the same water from the bucket I just transfer it to the sprayer and by the way I put a, a pillowcase on top of my uh, iron table I don't want to mess it up with the starch I'm just gonna spray these get them wet again and um, turn it facing back up because it tend to burn a little if by accident so you don't want to burn the front at least to burn the back <laughs> and um, and start going into the details do those details first and start from the outside in okay stretch it a little or a lot again start from the outside in working in focus on the details stretch those details out try not to lose the shape of the the design like this is a square try to keep it in a square I didn't completely re-wet it, kind of dump, dump it. Am I saying that word right? Dump, damn, damp, okay. Move to the next. Kind of going back and forth, that's fine. Okay, as I said, you have to work from outside in and um, do whatever you do to get those details in. Like as you can see, I'm kind of picking up the, the whole thing and focus on one piece at a time with the edges. It's so much easier when you get to the center. You don't need to worry about messing up the edges. By the way, let me know if you want me to show you how to make this um, beautiful motif. It's one of my favorites. You can make doilies like the centerpieces. You can use this pattern for, for clothing, blouses, dresses. This will be a gorgeous 
might take a long time to make, but um, it's cute. A long time to make a dress, I meant, not, uh, not a doily. <laughs> And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I'll really appreciate. I'm gonna always come up with some random stuff and I hope you're gonna enjoy them. Oh, tips and tricks in general, nothing specific. Of course work work related okay i'm coming to an end with this one my hand hurts i pressed so hard i guess that's a good thing okay because nothing that looks good it's easy i'm going back to the details a little bit more one more time Make sure nothing is turning. All the details sit in a place or they're supposed to. And this is too cute. Look at that, guys. This is the front side. Like I said, you always start with the back. I'm lightly going back one more time on top of the front. Let's just do the cloth on top one more time. And we call it the day. And I can't stress enough with the water in your iron, constantly have to be steamy, steamy, very important. See, again, I'm coming to an end with the steam. This thing is still stuck in here. <laughs> That's a good thing, guys, looking good. And there you have it, cute. And meanwhile, let's take this out. Looks like it's dry. I'm just gonna take it out. Uh, and there we have it. Very cute. You could do whatever you want with it. Here's the same exact uh, pattern. I'm planning to show you guys how to how to make this if you'll be interested watch some of that my other videos and this one as well is exact same pattern um, so as you can see what the size of the thread does thread and uh, hooks and there we have them guys ready beautiful starched um, centerpieces doilies whatever you want to call them and let me tell you this thing is pretty amazing it was my first time using it i'm definitely going to use it again just what i expected um, stay flow liquid starch from purex now that i have something else to compare with but this is pretty amazing i do recommend it and uh, i'm going to use it again um, so I used a proportion, proportion of half and half, half water and half, half uh, starch. All right, and here they are, um, nice and stiff, and uh, yeah, very happy with the results. And by the way, if you want me to show you how to make any of these, just let me know. Uh, this this is my work, so I'll be more than happy to share with you. But I do plan to make this one uh, in my next video. So basically, this is this is the same pattern, same design. You see how gorgeous. 
and uh, the size of the thread and hook makes a big difference. You could use uh, you could use this in a combination of uh, many and just make uh, clothing like a blouse, a dress, or you know, cute. And this one is gorgeous thread I recycled from some string curtains. Um, I can make a lot of a lot of projects with the thread I collected all those curtains shiny I'm gonna talk about in another video how I do recycle some of my threads yarns um, so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so uh, that will inspire me to to make more videos with random things um, subscribe like and share thumbs up um, and of course uh, comment tell me anything tell me anything gorgeous and of course you use them one at a time <laughs> just like I have that in the center there is an example let me show it to you what it will look like just by itself let me take this out of the way so you can see a centerpiece There you go, on this marble table I have here. So, it goes well in, with this room because I do have a modern style but with a classic, some classic touches. So, um, I decided to give this doilies another chance in my house <laughs> because I had them in storage for a long time. So yeah, just washed, starched and pressed, and um, and I think I like it. Keeper. Hope you enjoy my video and see you soon. Ciao.